Good morning. Well, afternoon now. I don't know why my assistant would schedule an interview so late, knowing I like to take my lunch break around this time. No, no, no worries. My apologies for my crankiness. I only had a yogurt and a banana this morning. I've been surviving off of these Skittles. Want some? Okay, let's get down to business. <laughs> That's cute. I haven't seen a physical resume in years. You see, when you submitted your application, you also submitted a resume, right? Right. And the great thing about technology is we can conveniently, boop, pull up all your information right here. Okay, so let's not waste paper again. It kills trees, contributes to climate change, and we already know that the globe is warming. Hmm, that's funny. I think I knew a kid with your last name when I went to high school. I wonder what they're up to now. I'll have to commence a Facebook stalking later. Okay, so I see here you have experience with both design and business partnerships. Tell me about your process when it comes to communicating with other companies. Okay, sounds good. How do you handle conflict in the workplace, whether it's with coworkers, clients? All right. Have you ever worked in an office before? Interesting. Okay. And what made you want to apply to this company specifically? Oh, wow. <laughs> Someone did their research. People often skim over the website, but no one's ever said that before. I do find it interesting, though. It says that you work for one of our competitors... Impressive, but not a good look. What would you say your strengths are? That's great, because here it may seem like everyone has their own assignments, but we collaborate and work together. Love that. What about your weaknesses? Huh, that's realistic. Hey, I'm a procrastinator myself, and we have tools to help us be the most productive that we can be. I have plenty of neurodivergent folks that can back me up on that. Can you believe the last guy I interviewed said, My greatest weakness is being a perfectionist and going above and beyond. Like, okay, do you want me to believe that you're too good at your job? <laughs> Am I supposed to be impressed that you don't have a good work-life balance? Whew, that red 40 is starting to kick in. I need a layoff on the Skittles. Let me pull up your design portfolio real quick. Do, 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 do. Ah, stupid thing has been slow all day. How's your drive here? No traffic? Ah, that's a first. That, oh, okay, here we go. Oh, wow. I'm <laughs> impressed. <laughs> I can see why that doorknob is so adamant about keeping you. Oh, nothing. Okay, uh, do you have any questions for me? Sure, I'd love to tell you more about the company. So, I went to college for graphic design and marketing. I kind of bounced around going job to job and taking in everything that I learned, and when I finally raked up enough money... I started my own agency straight out of my basement. Since then, we've grown exponentially, as you can see. You'll find on the first floor all of our designers, then on the second floor is our marketers, and up here we take care of the boring stuff. We've worked with large brands, all kinds of brands, you know, people who make sodas, toys, electronics... Um, we just signed a contract with a well-known athletic company that you, you probably know. So, um, we are pretty successful over here. One more question. Um, now you're getting greedy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Ah, that's my hometown. I went to school there. 
do you have a sibling that I might know or something? Because I knew that last name rang a bell. Wait, what? You do look familiar, but for some reason I can't remember your name. <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Your piss pants? It's crazy how it took just one water bottle to ruin your high school career. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. That's really all I knew you by. That's awful. Wow. Um, I can't believe you remember that. I mean, as you're talking about it, I'm regaining some memories, but it's hard to believe that I would actually bully someone. Um, listen, I am so sorry if I hurt you. Um, I was just a kid and kids make mistakes. I really don't know what else to say. Um, if this truly is important to you, then we could discuss it over Facebook or something. Cool? Cool. Okay, now where were we? Hey, where do you think you're going? We're not done yet. Don't you think it's a risky move to walk out right now? Do you know how many people would kill to sit in that seat? What if I already made up my mind? I spoke to your references. They all had great things to say about you. Outstanding things. And I think your boss caught wind of your possible departure because he called me. Practically crying. He begged and pleaded, even offered me money to reject you. That's insane! But that is the highest form of a compliment I have ever seen. He said, he said he'll give you a raise, but that raise won't even come close to what I'm willing to give you. Base pay. Is this about... <sighs> Listen, I'm not the best when it comes to expressing my feelings, but I... Genuinely am sorry. No, this is not me trying to get you to work here. I was a kid, yes, but I should have known better. I didn't stop anyone when I could have, and I didn't treat you the way you deserve to be treated. This is a classic example of the axe forgets, but the tree remembers. It's not fair that you had to deal with both the experience and the memories. I had just joined the popular crowd or whatever, and I knew if I turned my back on them, I was just going to be the next target. And this isn't an excuse, by the way, I'm just offering an explanation. Um, I'm not trying to buy you. You know, you're free to leave this office whenever you want. Uh, I, I don't know what else I can do. Um, I, I, I don't think about the past that often, so I don't... Um, I. I guess I've wondered about you a couple of times, um, and I felt bad thinking about it. Right. A couple of times does not compare to every day. I know you had it harder, and I'm, I'm not trying to make myself seem like the victim. Hey, listen. Just think about my offer, okay? Here's my card. No rush. And before you say anything, yes, I know working under your former bully sounds like history repeating itself. And I can admit I'm not the most patient person. I'm not always the best boss, but I will listen and try to right my wrongs. It's hard being in charge, you know. Would you like some wine? People have mimosas at noon. How is this any different? I mean, Thursday is practically the weekend, but okay. Are you even happy? At your job, I mean. No, you're not. I know that shit stain you work for. Yeah. We work together, you know. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to be business partners, but... One day he betrayed me because someone offered him a pretty penny to be their business partner. What a shame. He could have had all this and more, but the greed. It can turn you into an unrecognizable person. 
So we've been rivals since. He's not doing bad, but he's not doing great. I'm sure you know that. You're very valuable. I can understand why Fuckface doesn't want to see you go. Oh, I didn't even start telling you about the pros of working here. Um, so we actually... Wait. After all of that, you're still walking away? At least, promise to let me know what you decide. Please? <sighs> what a day.